I used to work in, in films in Bombay. Okay, what else? I was an assistant director for a long time. It's a very tough job. And in Bombay, you're shooting for 18 hours a day. And uh, I always used to pick some scripts from the, in the, in the production house and uh, read through the night and make some of my own corrections. Yeah, this, uh, this could have worked better. Well, like, uh, yeah, but uh, and then I realized maybe that's where my true interest lies. Storytelling is a lot like playing chess, if you ask me, because you have these characters and they have well-defined functions, they have an arc. It's very interesting to see how you can be your own enemy. You're playing yourself all the time. I think that's what writing is for me. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to admit this. I, I, sometimes I feel I have a, a multiple personality disorder. I mean, I wake up and I don't know who I am. I mean, I have to go, oh, so this is who you are today. Okay, so then I, I think that's, that, that probably um, makes it very interesting for me. I think we should explore stories in which the user is the protagonist. It is not because I'm a nerd. I, I'd like to categorically state that just because I'm from India and I have and I hold a, a, a degree, a bachelor's in uh, software engineering, that does not make me a nerd. <laughs> but I'm naturally tuned with technology. I understand technology. So lately, I've been very much interested in virtual reality, writing for VR. It's basically rewriting the rules we've learned so far because it's a completely new medium. We need new rules. The way I, I see it is, it's, it's, we're watching a movie in the hall and at one point you just get up and basically tear mm -hmm. the screen and jump into it and you're in the world. As an audience, you are in the world and, and the questions that need to be answered are the characters inside the screen, do they recognize you? You know what, no offense, you may not agree with me, but I think it's probably better to play with other people. Just saying. Just